Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV as the Newcastle United squad have landed in Germany ready for their pre-season training with uh, Wolfsburg. Uh, there is a review coming up just after a second as we watch the lads uh, board off their private jet onto the court so it will take them to the AOK Stadion. Now the stadium is actually Wolfsburg's training ground it's also where the famous Wolfsburg women, the female side, play also as John Joe Shelby. Uh, gets up a little bit no good but uh, let's crack on with a the review then pictures courtesy of NUFC right we're going to be talking about uh, well the fantastic display against Wolfsburg this man got his tactics spot on today we know it's not about tactics friend he's all about experimenting um, and it was a fantastic run from Newcastle we will hear from Rafa Benitez very shortly as well. Let's get on screen how we begin with videos is we'll look at the lineups first of all. Uh, was there any ch were there any changes here? No, not massive changes. Rob Elliott and goal. Mankio was in because Yedlin wasn't uh, uh, wasn't basically risked with his injury. A uh, slight knock that he picked up uh, the other day. Lejeune and Clark were the two centre-backs. Paul Dummett at left-back. Hayden and Shelby in the middle. Richie on the right. Prez in the 10. Atsu on the left and Mitrovic up top. So Mitrovic getting his chance again, and we'll come on to Mitro in a second. Right, bright start by Newcastle. Um, just before I touch on that, um, some of the streams that were out there were absolutely fantastic. Some of them in great HD, so busy watching that at work, so it was marvellous. Right, so bright start by Newcastle. Uh, they look, look so much more up for this one than they did against mine. So obviously this fella's obviously got them in and said, Howie, we can do a lot better than this. And Newcastle, we're, we're out the blocks, and we're, without a shadow of doubt, 80% of the game, without... They, they were the dominant side. You know, showing a purpose with quicker play, zip, possess. It was moving the ball around. There was more aggression. A lot more better. A lot more physical, what I like to see, you know. Um, let's get out the game, of course. So, so Perez runs, sees his shot saved low down. And then, obviously, five minutes later, Mitrovic sees his shot also saved as well. So that was the early sign in the first 25 minutes that Newcastle, as I mentioned, would start the game really well. You know, Mitrovic holds the ball up, lays it off Shelby, who just shoots wide. Probably John Joe Shelby's got to hit the target for me, but it's the sign there that Shelby is getting that little bit more license. And I've noticed this in Franny's, he's just getting a little bit further forward than what he did in the championship. And I like to see that little bit tweak. You know, we want to see Shelby get further up the field as well. Um, you know that the goal on the 37th minute, Atsu crosses it. Mitrovic is there, you know, in the six yard box. Fires home from a few yards, Newcastle 1 0 up. And we'll come on to Mitrovic later on. And you know, we got a goal literally six minutes later, and Newcastle thoroughly deserved going at half time 2 0 up. What a free kick! What an absolutely gem of a free kick. If you haven't seen it, man, oh man. Unreal, Richie's got the free kick. You think Mitrovic doesn't have this, and Mitrovic runs over the ball and think Mitrovic is going to take this, and then, then, run, then he runs over it, and then Matt Richie's absolutely, I'm not swearing, Matt, Matt Richie's got the magic hat. Blah, 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 and all of that. You know, he finds a top corner. Fantastic goal. Newcastle going 2 0 up. You know, it's fantastic. And then we're seeing a bit of a change. You know, um, there's a little bit, a little bit of tempers going around the pitch. You know, Mitrovic was arguing. John Joe Shelby was uh, arguing. And it was a bit of aggression. I don't mind a bit of aggression as long as you don't see those two lose their heads. I was seeing Diarmi come up for Mitrovic maybe at half time. Maybe that was something to do with it with Rafa. You know, we conceded a very, very soft penalty in the 52nd minute. Paul Dummett, to be fair, hasn't had the greatest time in Germany. He gives away a very, very soft penalty. It's soft, like. And then, you know, Mali steps up, puts Elliot the wrong way, and it's 2-1, game back on. You're thinking, all right, you know, Newcastle's a friendly. It's not the end of the world. We're learning as we go along, you know. But then, Annie, like, literally a minute or two later, Iosia Perez is chucked down on the floor, and how the hell that is, and how the hell that wasn't given us a penalty, we will never know, you know. You know, there was confusion, a little bit of uh, lapse with uh, Lejeune and Mankiw when the ball was coming towards one of them. Uh, they were nearly dispossessed and Mankiw had to quickly get it back to uh, Elliot. So there was a little bit of this communication between the Spanish and the Frenchman, but all around the defence actually played all right. We'll come on to Mankiw's performance in a second also. Um, what a goal this was. What a counter-attack goal. Absolutely brilliant. You know, it's Yarmouk turning his man in. You know, in that type of position, Rafa wants to use him a little bit more. Uh, Perez was involved. And then the great, great ball by Mankiw. Finds Shelby bursting the gut to get forward again. He finds himself on the right-hand side of the box. He finds it low, low, low. Wolfsburg all over the place. And there's Christian Atsu with tap home. And it's another cross from Newcastle. Remember what I was saying about the under-23s? That the crosses and set pieces that Rafa has been working on. We're, sight, we're seeing a lot of that in the championship. Hopefully we'll see a lot of it in the Premier League as well. Of course, we rang the changes, you know, all the changes came on. So Newcastle uh, 
were lined up like this. We're going to have to get it on screen face. So it was Darlow in goal and Bemba playing right back again because of our choice. Lascelles, nice to see Jamal Lascelles back. Kieran Clark, uh, Gamaz left. Shelby and Moreno in the middle. Uh, just speaking of Moreno, he done an outstanding outside the boot uh, pass if you haven't seen it. It's, it's, uh, it's, on, it's on Facebook on our page. Murphy, Aaron's Diome in the 10. Dion was actually playing up top as well. And uh, speaking of Dion, he missed an absolute, well, I wouldn't say it was a sitter. Murphy's cross coming. Dion actually does well to get on the end of it and heads just wide. Um, but then Carl Dollows made it, forced it a couple of great saves on the 80, 84th minute was. Uh, but he was absolutely fantastic. He nearly got chipped by, uh, I think it was Verena, the Portuguese uh, winger. And uh, he nearly got chipped. He gets brilliant to get back. And, you know, Dollows shows he's, he's, a goal, he's a goalkeeper. It's just it's strange how rumours are that you... Uh, Rafa wants to get rid of him, you know. Um, you know, Newcastle almost got the fourth at the end when Jacob Murphy, Aaron's corner comes in. Grun, the, their goalkeeper, pushes it out and then it falls to Murphy on the edge of the box. And uh, he saves well. Um, so it was a good all-around performance. We'll talk a little bit about the players first. We're going to quickly hear from Rafa Benitez and, of course, pictures of courtesy of the Chronicle. So we are at the beginning. We gave some players uh, more time on the pitch. And uh, it was fine. We scored goals. We created some chances. We didn't give them too many. So uh, a lot of positive, but still we are a little bit far away. Yeah, I think it's the strikers they need to score. And then if they score, even sometimes not playing well, uh, they will be happy. So for us, uh, the main thing today with uh, Ayo and Mitrovic more than if uh, Mitrovic score or not, it's just a contribution. He was working very hard. We knew that, or he knew also that he will be just playing 45 minutes. So I think uh, the idea was right. He did uh, well. And uh, the team, in terms of understanding, was a little bit better than against Main. I think uh, that is the positive. Still, we are a little bit far away, but uh, we have some time to keep improving. Right, so that's Rafa Benitez, a lot, lot more happier, isn't he? We just want to touch upon a few things that we've, well, we've all learned, and so speaking out, I want to pick on Man Q, who had a lot better game this time around against Mainz, who was a fall for the second goal. He was bombing up and down that pitch, and it was nice to see, and obviously he created, he was, well, he didn't create one of the goals. Well, he, no, he did, he did with the long ball, he did create it. Um, so he was, he had a great game. John Joe Selby looks a lot more meaner, getting forward, burst and gut. I want to see, we want to see that as Newcastle fans, that Shelby burst and gut to get it in that box. We need to see more of it because... He is our creativity. I don't care what anybody says. If you take John Joe Selby out, he is, for me, the main man at Newcastle. You can say Richie, you can say Gail, but for me, my personal opinion, uh, John Joe Selby is our creativity. He was absolutely fantastic today, bombing up and down. Mitrovic, again, scoring in pre-season. He's a man that doesn't want to go, does he? And, I, and the thing I like about Mitrovic, now, yes, he, he played shocker against Mainz, and he's more up for that. And I think you're going to get out of Mitrovic. He's going to look great one game, put on the next game. He's scoring goals inside the box. That's what he didn't do last season. You know, Super Mac heavily criticised him. He's probably had a word from Rafa and said, look, get yourself in the box. Stay amongst the box. You're a nuisance. And a couple of goals, he's come from tappings. And that's more Dwight Gale's style of football. But Mitrovic has got a couple of goals of tappings. And maybe what might see a little bit of change of Mitrovic. Hopefully, we know he's great holding the ball up. And, you know, he doesn't get himself back at the box. And we need to see more of it from me. So all around, Newcastle's wingers also, we look really, really lively, especially on the counter. It's a tactic that Rafa is probably going to use because we've got pace with Murphy, Atsu, Aarons. Some might say that Richie's pacey-ish, but we're a real threat on the counter. And it, it's actually nice to see Newcastle play well with this 4-2-3-1 formation. However, there's a tweak there with Shelby having that licence to go forward. Maybe if Rafa's not going to change his formation, I would like to say it personally. But Rafa plays this 4-2-3-1 with Shelby tweaked going further forward. Who knows? It's the under-23s play at the under-18s. It's all filtered down now, kind of similar to, as I mentioned before, Barcelona B, Barcelona C, and so on and so on. Um, but it's fantastic, absolutely, performance. Forget about the win. The performance was all about a day. If Newcastle were to get beaten, had an outstanding performance, that's all that friendly is more about an experiment as well. Of course, we need bodies for the door, you know. So moving on to Sunday, uh, we'll be at the Hellas Verona game at St James's Park. Uh, we'll be interviewing you guys with this bad boy, so do keep an eye out for us and jump on fan cams. We're going to be basically asking you about the squad, more or less. So let us know what you think in the comments down there below. A great performance, great results. It gives you hope for the Tottenham game, doesn't it? Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.